let's learn about frequency imprinting using cold laser. So we go to the presets tab and then select shell empty preset and then we select spooky cold laser preset. Then we have to load specific program which we want to imprint. So say I assume seven chakras program. Once I double click it, it gets loaded in this bottom left section. Now I have to make sure that repeat sequence is set to zero so that the program keeps repeating until I am done with the imprinting process. So here you can change the dwell multiplier as per your need. If you want to imprint per frequency for one second, then you will have to change it to 0 0.0555. Then this would make sure that every frequency imprints for one second only. Otherwise, if you go for the default, that is one dwell multiplier. So that would make sure that every frequency is imprinted for three minutes before the next frequency comes in. Also, you have to click remote duplicate frequencies. So this would make sure that no duplicate frequencies are being imprinted. Next, we go to the control tab, click override generator and select the generator number. For demonstration, I'm showing the virtual generator and now I start my imprinting. So you can imprint it for the desired amount of time. And this is all you need to know for cold laser printing. Now we go to the next imprinting, which is your PEMF coil based imprinting. So again, we go to the shell empty preset. Then we go inside coil category. And then here, either you can select this preset, which is Spooky2 single PEMF coil, or you can go for Spooky coil generator direct. Please note that you can also use Spooky boost with PEMF coil based imprinting, and you should not be using any boost for cold laser. Now we select this preset. And again, for example, I'm taking seven chakras program and I make sure repeat sequence is set to zero and dwell multiplier is either one or I can also select point double zero triple five. Then I go to control tab, override generator. I click VG and then I start imprinting until I am done with the job. Okay, now the last method we are going to learn is the remote based imprinting. So for this, again, I go to shell empty preset. I go to remote and then I select universal square edge bomb. This is the best preset in case you are confused with killing program or the healing program. So we select this and then we go to the programs tab. Again, I'm taking example of seven chakras. So I select this. And even if you wish to add more programs, say abdominal cramps, abdominal inflammation, you can either save all these as a single program here by clicking floppy icon, change the settings here. So repeat sequence set to zero and dwell multiplier is either one, but in case of remote, I would prefer to make it 0 0.0055 because that would make per frequency being imprinted for one second each. So I will again click override generator and there you see the dwell time has gone down to one second from 180 second. So this is how you imprint using remote. Very important point to note here is you should not be stopping this program and you have to take out the hologram or the crystal, whatever medium you are using for imprinting 
before clicking stop button and once you take out the hologram after desired amount of time then you can click stop button thank you